Hey guys, I forgot to vlog at all today. <laughs> it's been one of those days. The kids came over and helped us take Christmas orna uh, ornaments and decorations down, so we got that done. Um, I had an interval of sanity broadcast today, so we got that done. We are going to be changing up the time of the weekly live broadcast to, I think, 11 a.m. Central. I will put the channel link in the description below. I'm sorry, I ran up the stairs. Anyway, um, so it's just been not a super busy day, just quietly, steadily busy, and I completely forgot about vlogging, and so that happens, right? I did some cleaning in the art room, and I rearranged my daily drawing case, which is downstairs, and added some gel pens into it, some things that will show up on black paper because I want to work more in the little black sketchbook. Doing some abstract doodles. Vicki, Peg, Michelle, it's all your fault. <laughs> Peg Robinson, Vicki Brown, and Michelle Mitchell. <sighs> Vicki Brown of Messy Table Studios, Michelle Mitchell of Lady Blue Studios. I will link all their channels in the description below. All three are fabulous artists in their own right. And yeah, I, they just started something anyway. Um, I'm enjoying doing daily drawing just for me, sharing with you all on Instagram and or Twitter and Facebook posts. If you haven't followed me on any of my other social media and you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's a tree, uh, there's a tree, there's a link in the description below called Linktree and then slash and my name. Click on that. You're going to find every single place you can find me, support me follow me, stalk me, whatever on the internet. So go look at it. Um, I also was watching a video just now on from Kent from Oz. He hasn't been actually had any videos on in I think a year. Um, he is the one that told me about file, the Filofax Malden um, and I saw it first on his channel and that is a planner um, organizer that I actually carry as a wallet. Um, I actually had a spare one. I have two of them and I was watching his video and reminded about that he took the rings out of his a while ago. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, January 7th. I only know that, sort of, because I have an appointment this morning with a new uh, doctor, new general practitioner. Um, hopefully things work out and I like her and um, everything. So. That's a little stressful. So we're gonna go do that this morning. And I need to run some errands. And I have, of course, always projects to work on, laundry to do. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta put some laundry in the dryer before I leave. Um, I'm thinking about how much I wanna say and how much I don't wanna say. Christmas time is always really stressful for me. For those that don't know why, I had my first miscarriage years and years ago at the beginning of December. Plus, I worked retail for a lot of years. Plus, there's always family drama. Over the years, those things just build up to where you're just not super thrilled about the holidays. You just kind of dread them. That being said, I enjoy spending time with my family, doing things we really enjoy. Leave the drama at home. If you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. Um... Yeah, and I just, uh, going forward, I would just rather do things with people who I really enjoy being around than having to deal with drama. I just, yeah, I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Don't ask, because I won't say. Um, that's probably too much, and I may cut it out. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here in the library for a few minutes because I'm ready a little early because I'm anxious to get the doctor visit over with, probably. I do need to show up a few minutes early, but I don't think I need to show up an hour early. So that's a thing. Um, I may just pop over to Safeway. I need some tin foil and some hand soap and some bottled water. And I may just go do that and then go to the doctor. That'll kill some time. And I won't drive myself crazy just sitting around the house. Anyway, that's it for now. I will be back. Hey guys, how are you? I'm downstairs after working <coughs> upstairs. I tried to shoot a little uh, film with my camera upstairs, um, with my camera, with my phone upstairs. Uh, I tried a new mic, which I'm going to return to Amazon. It didn't work. Um, 
and the, and honestly, the footage is crap. Um, I'm going to show off what I did with my uh, file effects and um, inspired by Kent from Oz and I am loving it. Uh, I've barely used it and I'm loving it already. I um, am going to though shoot for proper footage because the footage I showed was crap and I need to do a better job at speaking, at filming, turn the lights on. Like I just need to do a better job. I also have a project I'm working on for a friend for a surprise. She may not want it. She doesn't know about it. She didn't ask me to do it. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'll clue you all in uh, once it's been mailed. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. And I did get all my paperwork done. All the 2018 bookkeeping is finished. California state sales tax are paid. I'm done and finished with California. It's been nice, but so long. Um, I had my appointment with my uh, new GP yesterday and had some blood work done. And I went on earlier to just see if the results were in yet. Not really expecting them to be, but to my surprise, they were. And um, everything was good, which is great. The numbers looked better than they actually have in a long time. So yay. I think the move was really good for me. Um, I am back to tracking what I'm eating and drinking using Lose It. It's an app for just watching what you're eating. Um, I don't make a point of working out, um, but I do walk up and down the stairs a lot. And I, I like to do, I like to walk. So I do a lot of walking. She also has me weaning off of the daily inhaled steroid um, for my asthma, which I am over the moon about. And as long as I'm able to control the asthma without it and all the coughing doesn't come back and stuff like that, oh, cross your fingers, people, because I'm so excited. Um, but I had to come down and eat some lunch because it's, I think it's after three o'clock. Um, <laughs> I was starting to feel lightheaded. It was probably because I hadn't eaten. Um, and I need to do a load of laundry and stuff like that. So anyway, just a quiet, nice day at home in my oversized, uh, Red Cross t-shirt and baggy pants and, you know, nothing special. I'm sure I look like a, just a dream on the way to the mailbox. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for right now. Uh, tomorrow I have to hang out around the house waiting for UPS to come pick up the mic that I'm returning to Amazon. And I want to get some more stuff done. And then Thursday I'm going to go run errands and I might hit a couple thrift shops or Tuesday morning or something. Our footstool that we had out here in the living room that we brought with us from California broke. Um, not because we moved, just because it was past it. And so I'm kind of on the hunt for a new one. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, January 9th. Yes. Jan you know, I should know the iPad is right in front of me. Um, January 9th. I've been up for a while. I got all my daily postings done. And I started working on a dot mandala project, which I will put a link to, uh, a link. I'll, I'll insert a picture here somewhere, but it's turning out really well. And I'm having a lot of fun, most importantly. I'm trying out some new um, dotting tools that I'm absolutely loving, um, not sponsored. I purchased a set on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below, uh, super easy to use. I have other dotting tools and I am filming the project. Um, so I'll give you uh, my thoughts on the tools, uh, but hint, I love them, uh, <laughs> in, the, in the video. So there'll be a video coming out on the process soon. I do need to go out and run a few errands, but I am waiting for UPS to come by and pick a box up. So I may not get any of those errands done until tomorrow because it's like a giant waiting game. But I do have dishes to do and laundry to do and all that stuff. So it's not like I don't have things to keep me busy. All right. I'll be back. Guys, if I don't catch it on camera, you're going to think I'm insane. But there's a baby deer in our front yard. Hang on. He's eating our bushes. 
It's the same baby deer who's been coming. I just wonder where his mom is at. So cool. Cool is that? I'm gonna go try to catch him. He's in the driveway now. He, I'm probably gonna scare the crap out of him, but he is so pretty. I wonder where his parents are though. That's what I'm worried about. There's two of them. Oh my gosh. At least two, maybe three. He's the one right there. He's just watching me. So cool. Just watching me like, come on lady, go back in the house so we can have some lunch. Now I know why they're in my front yard. They're eating the bushes. I can hear there's lots of wildlife out today. There's a whole family of baby deers. I don't, I'm pretty sure they're not grown ups. I don't know anything about deer. They may be does. I don't know. The one I saw that was in the front yard wasn't very big. Accidental photographs when you're not completely awake are a bad thing. Good morning. Five months after moving, I'm still trying to figure out where things got put when we moved in. Anyway, fun fact. Years ago, when I was pregnant with our daughter, who is now 24, um, I was in a head-on collision with somebody who ran a red light. And that's how I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> fun fact. Anyway, I've had problems with my... Um, head and neck and back since then and so I was looking this morning for my little hard rubber peanut shaped thing which is this to do uh, there's an exercise I can do to relieve this the pressure in my neck so I must have slept on it wrong or something periodically over the years I have an issue especially um, if I sleep on it funny so I need to do that this morning because my neck is killing me and it'll lead to a migraine if I don't do the exercise, which the exercise hurts, but it's better than dealing with this. So good yeah. morning, everybody. <laughs> Thursday morning, January 10th, I think. I think it's the 10th because yesterday was my baby sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Everybody tell her happy birthday. Um, <clears throat> it's 7.40, 6 a.m. <sighs> I'm going to have some more coffee and some breakfast, watch some YouTube, do my daily postings, and then we're going to get dressed and go run some errands. I, I can leave the house today because I'm not expecting people. I have work to do, but nothing that requires me to just stay home all day and get it done. So, yeah. We're going to get to it. Maybe find the local Tuesday morning. So, uh, I love this Tuesday morning, and it's next to a different Dollar Tree than the one I was going to. I like this shopping center a lot better than the other one. So, anyway. But the other one has Joanne's fabric, so. Um, either or. But this is a nicer shopping center when I just want to go to Dollar Tree. I did just realize, as I was putting in... Um, to my GPS app, Fred Meyer, to go there next, that I forgot the shopping list off the refrigerator. So I'm going to just wing it, and yeah, I can pretty much guarantee you I'll forget something, but you know, oh well. <laughs> and I'm going to try to reduce our amount of waste. I There's no way I can go zero waste, I don't think, but... Um, I did well in Dollar Tree, but then I forgot to tell the young man on Tuesday morning I didn't want a plastic bag. So, um, I think Fred Meyer has a thing where I can stick to plastic bags, hopefully. So, I'm going to recycle, put this in there, and I don't know what they do with it, but I think they repurpose it or something. Anyway. Oops. Alright, I'll be back.
Okay, so I got most of what I needed, I think. I don't, again, I forgot the list, so I don't know what's on the list. I am shooting for healthier, um, low waste alternatives to things, including food, less pa plastic packaging. I am at the moment unable to avoid it completely but I'm doing my best to buy alternatives when they're available, including I'm gonna try switching body wash to a, back to a bar soap, which I haven't used in like a million years. Um, we'll see how that goes. I like my liquid body wash. Um, there were a couple things I wanted that Fred Meyer didn't have, and when I wasn't looking, the very nice clerk at Fred Meyer put my greeting card that I got for my dad's birthday in a plastic bag. So now I got two plastic bags. And they don't have anywhere to recycle them. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to head across the street to New Seasons Market, which is sort of a combination of an, orga oh, crap. an organic grocery store and a regular market. I was in the wrong lane. Dang it. Um... I think I'm still in the wrong lane. That's okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to um, go head over there and see if I can find what I need over there. We'll see. It's going to be a journey. I yeah. So I'm hoping between the two stores that when I do need to go shopping, that I can get the bulk of stuff at um, you know, one store and one I can't find there, I can go to the other store. I like Fred Meyer and it's right across the street from New Season, so hopefully that works. Oh, I'm becoming an Oregonian. The sun is blinding me. What is that? <laughs> Not used to the sun. It's very bright out. I love New Season's Market. <laughs> so, I um, was successful. So they had frozen Marion berries, which I've been looking for. Yay! They were back in stock. And they did tell me, in all fairness, when I was here last week, that they were getting new stock in any day. And so they had some. So I got a bag for the freezer because I want to try baking with them. I also found half and half in a glass bottle. <laughs> Yay! I keep forgetting to look every time I come over here. And I finally looked today. And um, the bottles aren't very big, so I got two of them. And they're also, you know, they don't have a super long shelf life, but we drink a lot of coffee. Um, but they're in a glass bottle, which can be recycled, uh, returned. Um, the plastic bottles and the waxy coated cartons are, none of that is recyclable. So um, in these glass bottles, it does have a plastic cap, but that's the only part that's not recyclable. So, um, I love that. And so I might have to have an extra cup of coffee today so I can try the new creamer. That might be a thing. No, I'm not waving at you. I mean, I am, but um, if I don't have my hand here, then, then we have that. So I'll put my hand there. Um, good morning. It is Friday morning. Crap. January 10th, maybe? 11th, maybe. I don't even know. I just know it's Friday. It's 9.13 a.m. The only reason I know that for sure is because I'm sitting in the car and the clock is like right there. Um, I started off yesterday, I think I said already, um, 
in yesterday's vlog with uh, my old neck and back injury bothering me and I, you know I got it worked out I did found my physical therapy tools did my exercises as you saw um, and I worked out most of the pain and, and stiffness but because I started my day off on a misstep note <laughs> um, I hesitate to call it a bad note because it wasn't a bad day but uh, because that happened uh, you know it led to a series of things uh, like me forgetting the shopping and errand list which meant I forget to forgot to do a couple of things forgot to pick up a couple things so yeah so I'm headed back out to the store <laughs> so anyway we're gonna go to I'm just gonna rent a Safeway I forgot a couple things at the store and I need to mail some stuff over at McCann's um, so I'm just gonna go do that really quick and then come back and work on some art and journaling and look at my to-do list and figure out what needs doing and stuff like that so I'll be back good afternoon everybody it is after 12 o'clock I don't think it's not 1 o'clock yet it's like 1230 ish anyway it's Saturday I almost said December January 12th um, had an impromptu intervals of broadcast intervals of sanity live broadcast this morning and now we're out just running a few fun errands we probably will go antiquing a little bit but I had to stop at McCann's you see behind me um, they have a little post office in the pharmacy because our former PO box sent us a piece of somebody else's mail they forward our mail for us like once a month which is great um, but when I got the envelope today and took everything out there was a piece of someone else's mail in there so I called them and let them know and I'm sending it back. <laughs> the husband dropped me off. He went to go to the bank across the street real quick. And then we're going to drive into Newburgh and Sherwood and just go drive around for a little bit. Maybe grab a sandwich or something on the way home and yeah, have some fun. We'll take you with us. We'll be back. And yeah, that thing out there, that bright blue thing and the bright light. Yeah, the sun's out. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. guys so that's been our week it's been an interesting one pretty good I think overall this next week we celebrate my dad's 80th birthday and I just ran up the stairs sorry <laughs> um, I'm taking him he's gonna stay overnight I'm gonna take him to the airport he's going down to Southern California to work with my brother for a little bit and what else I have another doctor appointment with a new doctor, um, colonoscopy doctor. Yeah, it's that time, I think. So, oh joy. I'm gonna see what she says. She's gonna re review my records and, oh boy. Anyway, um, I'm also gonna continue my journey trying to reduce our plastic packaging consumption. And the amount of trash we reproduce. Can I go zero waste? Probably not. But I got some more stainless steel straws because I'm going to switch the family over, including my husband, who's very reluctant from disposable straws. I also got some silicone uh, Ziploc bags. They're reusable. You can put them in the dishwasher to sanitize them between uses. So I got a few of those to try. And I'm on the hunt for products and Food that are in less packaging so that's my current obsession I mean, it does mean I'm probably gonna have to cook more but you know I probably should be doing that anyway it's healthier so yeah that's a thing anyway it's been a great week I hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them in the um, comments below you can check out all my links and places to follow me on social media support me on social media in the description there's a few gonna be a few links in there but also there's a link to a place called Linktree and then uh, slash my name click on that you're gonna find every single place I am on the internet plenty of places to follow me and support me including all the different places you can find the products I've designed or made um, including Etsy Spoonflower Redbubble Society6 I knew there was one more in there um, my tip jar, Patreon, I do have one, um, and all of that sort of thing. So uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. And 
If you guys have any specific requests for content, please let me know. Leave something in the comments and we'll see what we can do about that. <sighs> I'm finally getting into the swing of things. It's only taken almost five months, but you know, it happens. Anyway, that's it for right now. I hope you all have a great one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. There's some great content coming up and go out and have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.